Team J of the 2022 ALA Emerging Leaders created a programming toolkit for Asian American Pacific Islanders, AAPI, sponsored by the Asian Pacific American Librarians Association, APALA. The toolkit includes recommendations on how to provide visible spaces for facilitating conversations currently affecting the AAPI community, how to ask critical questions to design open, culturally aware spaces when creating programs for Asian American and Pacific Islander patrons of library communities, guidelines for producing programs and links to outside resources. Team J anticipates that the toolkit will be a living document and has curated the content so that the current and future library workers may build on the shared knowledge in constructing substantial AAPI programming. The document will be hosted on the Apollo website for future reference. Our goal is for this toolkit to assist library workers in connecting, facilitating, and engaging with their AAPI community members and local AAPI organizations to deliver educational programs beyond the five Fs, food, festival, folklore, famous people, and fashion, and expanding it to include depth and nuance in sensitive topics such as mental health and anti-Asian hate. When I was chosen for the Emerging Leaders Program, I was so excited to learn more about being a leader in the library profession, and I was super jazzed to have got my first pick for the Emerging Leaders Project, creating a programming toolkit for Apala, an organization near and dear to my heart. One of my personal expectations was to meet, network, and learn from fellow AAPI library professionals. Uh, coming from suburban Pennsylvania and now Dayton, Ohio, um, sometimes it can feel a little bit lonely and isolating uh, to be one of the few or sometimes the only um, AAPI working in a library system. So being able to interact with fellow AAPIs in my field is just like a balm to the senses. As I said, I was so excited that I would, to learn that I would be helping to create the programming toolkit for Apala, but to be honest, I had no idea what a programming toolkit was. I had never seen one, never used one, and although I come from a library uh, background, I don't have much experience with um, creating programming. So I'm happy to report that I now know what a toolkit is, and while designing it, I learned so many about so many resources for, by, and about AAPIs that can be used in a library setting. Being on this um, Apollo's team for the Emerging Leaders Program has been a really great experience overall. Um, it's been so refreshing to work with like-minded team members and to learn more about myself as a leader. Uh, I hope you guys really like the toolkit because I know I've learned so much from it. One of the, our earliest challenges for this project was to figure out what programs and uh, trainings would be appropriate to include that is currently affecting our AAPI communities. And so with that in mind, we have decided to include um, mental health programs, advocacy trainings, and facilitating community conversations, especially in light of the rise of anti-Asian hate. My hope for this toolkit, however, is to have it be a living document within the Apollo organization and have it live beyond this project. I hope that current Apollo members, current and future Apollo members will be inspired and continue to contribute to it actively so that library workers, especially those who don't identify as AAPI, can be aware of the conversations and discussions and issues that are affecting the AAPI communities, especially because there are so many identities that fall within the Asian continent. Um, I would also love for this toolkit to be used as a valuable resource so that all library workers can use it to create culturally sensitive and accurate programming. Thank you. When I joined the Emerging Leaders Program of 2022, I believed that I would be learning traditional leadership skills, like how to recognize and bring out the strengths of a team that you are leading. Instead, I ended up learning more about my own weaknesses when working as part of a team that I don't see in person. Working together with my amazing partners, I learned that for myself to stay organized, especially when working on a larger project, I need clear and specific goals to be set with 
target due dates in mind. This was a surprising development for me personally as I normally tackle big projects and the organization they need without issue. Not being able to see my teammates affected the way that I was able to organize my work. As I worked on my quote homework after each meeting, I was better able to see how the smaller pieces fit into the larger project. My previous experience with programming toolkits is mainly examples of programs without any actual tools to help library workers build their own programming skill set. As our project emerged, it became clear that we were creating something different. While we do have programming examples in the toolkit, we also curated resources to help library workers create their own programs instead of just following examples. Over the last six months, my team has gone above and beyond to ensure that the information we provided was not only accurate, but culturally informed. As we moved forward in our project, I realized how uninformed I was personally in these areas, and it was an amazing experience to learn and grow to better serve the AAPI community in my area. At the beginning of my emerging leader's journey, I hoped to build my confidence as a library leader. However, the skills and knowledge I have gained far exceeded my expectations. The connections and friendships I've built have been incredibly valuable and I'm so grateful to have had this opportunity.